Hi there everybody, Josh here. I normally go by Fotaku on this with All Things Film, but just want to say thank you so much for all the support that you've been showing us. I know that we've been going through a bit of a move with everything, but we hope that you like the new sets. Finally got one for myself, yes, and this will be a bit more consistent, plus awesome that we have MoFo back on track. Now here, just taking a bit of a quick thing to say, come and support us for CollectorCon. That is going to be September 9th and 10th. We believe that you'll have a lot of fun. You'll get to see everyone here there, and do be sure to support us on our Patreon. That is now up. That I can go for about roughly $3. You can start getting some exclusives when we start getting them up. You'll love it. Prints, additional work, maybe some other uh, things that we're working on right now, like a movie. So, you know, please continue to show your support for Watson's nice videos. Thank you. All right. And without further ado, let's start this thing. Hi there everybody, welcome to All Things Film and what we got for you today was supposed to be a review on Dark Tower which is a collection of books by Stephen King and I thought at first that we would just review the movie but I figured there's already some mixed messages about the movie. Uh, personally I enjoyed it uh, but I read The Gunslinger at least which I figured this movie was primarily going to be about. Instead it was a fascinating mix of a bunch of different works within the series, callbacks that wouldn't occur until later, little nods and easter eggs. And if I were as critical as I normally am, I would say Two out of five. Easily two out of five, but I think that misses the point here because it actually was a decent movie. On a film on its own, it is fun. It is not the greatest thing in the world, but it's more of a solid three out of five especially around this time of the year. August is known for being kind of a dead zone when it comes to movies, so releases around this time are pretty quiet until they start beginning fall. All that aside, what really went through my head was adaptations. How they are done and executed fascinates me. I've had some issues before with other movies that came out this year that I wasn't sure how I would take them in terms of adaptation where they be from anime or comic book onto the big screen and at times I figured that I was being a bit harsher than I should have been. And don't get me wrong, it's not that I'm not saying my complaints are valid. I still feel that ending is hella anticlimactic to Wonder Woman and she deserved something better than just some end monster boss fight and I feel that Ghost in the Shell would have had a lot to say even for now than just going back and trying to uh, demonstrate with as best of cinematography we could those scenes that were animated originally. And that's why I felt that there were some parts that were missed, but despite the fact they were still moderately enjoyable movies. I mean, hell, Wonder Woman was a fascinating take on just how grand DC had been striking out hard and this movie was great. And I didn't want to make it seem like that was the one thing that should hinder everything to it necessarily. But in that case, also watching this movie, it's more or less the same concept right there. I mean, from actually having gone back and read that book and then seeing what it turned out, the part of me would have easily have dismissed it. Like, it wasn't fun, but it, it was. It's enjoyable. It manages to work with the film in ways that I like. They switch the focus between the gunslinger and uh, Jake, uh, Jacob. They, what they did there was normally Jacob comes in later in the book, in the middle of the gunslinger storyline within uh, the first Dark Tower book, and then they get separated again. And the, there isn't a major plot point that comes around with the kid outside of what the Man in Black is in that book series. He, he is a troll. And here we have Matthew McConaughey pretty much being Matthew McConaughey, just creepy Matthew McConaughey. And you know what? For his own role right there, he is not the man in black, but to anybody who may not be familiar, he at least makes for a decent antagonist. He isn't as necessarily charismatic as the man in black from the original Dark Tower series, but he still gets the job done. And so if I would have been as hypocritical as I continue to be right there, that would be to ignore everything else in the movie. And I mean, they do a great job. It's acted well, pacing is at least all right, and they do take their time to build on each other's character a bit so by the end you are invested in that last fight especially when they have to team up with each other and I know guys for anybody who is a big fan of the Dark Tower um, 
yeah, that's why I said at the beginning, it's not that great of a movie if you look on that retrospect, but realize the things I had said earlier. Those little individual parts that we take note of and go back and we just kind of poke fun at, but at the same time paying a little bit of respect to the original source material. It kind of had me thinking, well, we have these comic book movies that are doing it all the time. They're not straight up ripped out from the comic book pages that we had in previous stories. They've been molded in different ways. Civil War is missing the X-Men for the most part, but it's still a great movie in what they try to do with the struggle we have between Tony Stark and uh, Captain America, which was the essential conflict that we had in that between giving up security and what was necessarily something that somebody should do if they feel in their own heart of hearts that they can't just stand aside and wait for bureaucracy to get in the damn way. And so with that, that's why I figure with adaptations nowadays, maybe we should look at them with a, what's it called, open mind. and. I know as far as different companies go, they've had their issues with like Sony holding on to Spider-Man longer so that he wouldn't be in the Avengers and then they did and it was great that they put him together in that. Or likewise when we had other flops in the past like Aragon and Cirque de Freak and oh my gosh those are legitimately terrible movies. But anyway, the point that I'm trying to make here with these adaptations as I said going in there with more of an open mind is we shouldn't limit ourselves to see what people have to offer. and. For this movie, I figure that they weren't trying to go crazy and trying to do another big world building like scenario that they were going to tackle from film to film. And I applaud it for that. There are studios like Universal that came out with The Mummy earlier and that movie just was so much wrong in that it tried to build a cinematic universe around all of these horror movies. and it lost sight of what it should focus on. It's characters, it's plot. Make a good, consistent movie all on its own. So for here, I just want to say that I enjoyed watching the Dark Tower movie. And if I would have been there just thinking straight off the get-go that it was going to be terrible, you know, that's just a weird bias that I should feel shouldn't be the case. I mean, I was blown away by Guardians of the Galaxy. I didn't know anything about Guardians of the Galaxy, but at that time I was just going off of any hype they had from Marvel. And I went in and I enjoyed the heck out of that movie. More so that I enjoy it more than the second movie. The second movie though, I still enjoy on its own. But all these different ways that we have Hollywood go in there, I just hope that they take their time with these creative liberties and make something that they enjoy and that's what Wonder Woman is and that's why I feel Dark Tower is on its own and I'm, I'm glad whenever they do something like that. I recommend going out to see this movie if you're thinking, if you're expecting to get everything out of Stephen King's epic, uh, I will say you'll probably be disappointed and that's just because the person, well the enemy who read that book might have just been a little bit disappointed by that and there were some times where I even probably cringed a little bit or so but it wasn't so bad as to experience the whole ride there and so I want to hear your thoughts about how things are because we're in a totally different world now in terms of cinema back then everybody tried to copy Harry Potter or they tried to copy Lord of the Rings which at the time we didn't know that we wanted something like that just as how superhero movies making a big comeback now we didn't know at that time and we had to go through plenty of flops to appreciate those good movies that came out and now we're in that space where everybody's trying to race towards making a great adaptation from continued works and what I figure it's like, what do you think? Would you enjoy to continue seeing that? Or would you prefer that a studio takes its time with the material that it has and try to strive to do something entertaining in its own right instead of having to set you up for that entertainment only because it's been so popular so far? So um, feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Did anybody who saw Dark Tower, what were your thoughts? Do you feel that there were certain areas where they could have improved? Or were there certain things that you feel you would have enjoyed if they would have expanded it for a bit more? All right, so thank you guys for watching. It is a blast doing this. And so also feel free to share any movies that you feel you would like to have me review that are coming up or anything like that. Or anything that you feel is worth an awesome discussion. Uh, thanks again. Remember to give Wasness videos a like. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. We'll see you next time.